Data is stored differently depending on its type. Numbers are stored as integers or as real numbers. Text is stored as a string or characters. Lists of the same type of data can be stored in an array. Variables are stored in RAM, which is random access memory. But we need to let our program know the type of data that each variable will hold. Let's have a look at some data types more closely. We have the integer, in which we can store whole numbers that are positive or negative. For example, 0, 31, 5000 or minus 45. These can only include whole numbers, not numbers with decimal places. You might use an integer for a score, when wanting to make calculations, or when asking someone their age. If we want to use decimal places for our numbers, then we'll store them as real data types, which allows us to store numbers that contain decimal places. For example, 23.14 or minus 25.5. We might use real data types when wanting to create programs with measurements using decimal places such as a timer or distance measurements. We can store data as a character, which includes a single character, such as a letter or an exclamation mark, or even a dollar symbol. However, if we want to store more than a single character, we can store data as a string, which means we want to store a combination or a group of characters such as a word or a sentence. This could include our name, an address, a sentence, or a group of numbers, such as a phone number. Wait, aren't numbers supposed to be stored as an integer? Well, not in this case. If we want to store a group of numbers, such as a mobile phone number, then this is a piece of information that won't necessarily change, meaning we don't want to manipulate it in a calculation. So if we store this as a string. Lastly, we have the data type Boolean, which stores either true or false. We use this data type when we want to store information as being one of two things, outcomes or options. For example, when we ask a person using our program to select a color, choose left or right, or if we ask the player if they want to start again, computers will store this information as one for true and zero for false. Arrays let us store lists of related data, such as a list of names, a list of animals, or a list of countries. With arrays, we can store lots of related values together in one place. However, all the data in the array must be of the same data type. We can also combine lists of arrays. For example, we might have an array with names and another array with the scores from a competition. If we're going to do this, we need to have one array which is stored as a string, and one array that is stored as integers. An array needs to include a name and size so that the computer knows how many memory locations to set aside for the array.